Ooh, do I have something good for you today? If you are a return viewer, family member, subscriber here, welcome back. If this, this is your first time stopping by my channel, I am Wilma Kaysen and I welcome you. I would love for you to consider joining our family here. You can do so by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time I load new content. I'm not even gonna go crazy with an intro today. This piece that I'm about to share with you guys is outstanding, okay? I didn't even know I needed it. I'm gonna give you a full backstory. Let's hop straight into it. The piece that I'm sharing with you guys today came from Burberry. I don't even know where to begin. The day that I went, I mentioned in my luxury wish list items for 2022 that I went to Fifth Avenue shopping. That day, I, I solely went to this city to buy Cartier love rings. Never happened. Joey had never been into a Cartier store. He had never been into Tiffany. So, you know, he popped into a couple stores. We went, as we came out of Tiffany, I was like, oh my God, I forgot Burberry's here. I, I was planning on going to St. Laurent. But I said, oh my God, Burberry's right next door. Let me run in there really quickly and see what's going on. I would try to insert footage somewhere of that moment when I walked in there. That was in December. So in September, when I dropped off my Chanel watch, I popped into Burberry. I saw this coat and I said, oh, you know what? I'll get it for my birthday. I'm all, everything's always for my birthday. I said, I'll get it for my birthday. It was almost $3,000. And I said, oh, you know what? Let me just, I'll come back in a couple of weeks because I went in on September 7th. I'll never forget. That's when I dropped off my Chanel watch. I went in September 7th and I said, you know, what? I'll come back in a couple of weeks, which I did gone. Not only was it gone, the guy was like, I told you it's kind of a runway piece. They don't really, they didn't really make that many of them. We, we only got one. And I think maybe another two stores in the United States got one, but it was not heavily produced. I was like, all right, whatever. So that was in September. This, and I, in my mind was searching the internet, but I didn't know. I forgot the quality. I forgot the materials. I forgot everything. I just knew that it was a sickening ass coat. Okay. So Fast forward, December, we're walking into Burberry. And I said, you know, oh my gosh, while I'm here, do you have this coat? And I'm describing it all wrong. I had already, I've been filming for my Insta story. I went into all the rooms I'm filming. I walked past the coat, didn't even notice it. Came back and the girl's looking for the coat. And she goes, um, it says we may, she's showing me like all these other coats. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. I don't know if that's it. And then she even showed me another coat, which again, I will try to insert the footage. This coat was phenomenal. And it wasn't it. And then she said, let me go to the back. Because what you're describing, and she, and as she went to go to the back, I was like, ah, I found it. And you guys, this is the coat. This is it. This has two names to it. I think in all black, it's called the Feltham. And with the black and the tan, which I just found out before I did my research on this video, it comes with a tan belt and the back is tan. So basically, let's just dive in, okay? So we all know that Burberry is known for their trench coats, they're known for their puffer coats, and they are continuously, they're ever evolving. This is a hybrid of the two. So in the front, it's giving puffer, okay? Oh, it's just so amazing. And the back, it's full on trench, like full on trench coat. And it even has this zip portion here with the hood. It cinches in the waist, you guys. Like I can't even, it doesn't officially cinch, but it cinches in the waist. Um, I love the shiny details on the buttons that say Burberry. So these are two functioning pockets here. And you also have two functioning pockets there on the bottom. I, I just absolutely love this. So it closes like that up top. And when you zip it down, it has this leather tab pull here. When you pull it down, it does reveal the Burberry Nova check on the inside. This is not my favorite check. It's way too yellow for me, but who cares about that? So I'm sure you wanna know price. So I, she comes out with this coat. I try it on and I said, you know what? I've been looking for it, thinking about it, even passively. Like, I, but I want this coat. So I said, I'm just going to take it. 
and she said, oh, and it's on sale. And I go, no. If you're an OG to this channel, you know that I always purchase my Burberry coats from the outlet. I think I purchased one Burberry coat from an actual boutique and that was my first quilted coat which if I, maybe I'll insert a clip of it, but it's so old at this point. But that was the only coat that I ever purchased full price before I knew about the outlet. So when she, I didn't even think that things went on sale in the Burberry store. When she said that this coat w went from $26.50 to $15.90, it was a no-brainer, a complete no-brainer. I was apprehensive initially, like I said in September, like uh, almost three grand, but at $15.90, for a runway piece, like, if there is one thing that I could say that I do not like about this coat, it is this placard here, this rubber logo patch here that says Burberry London England. I don't know why. I'm thankful that it's subtle and you really can't see it, but it kind of bothers me, the placement of it. Like, that should have been, like, on the inside lapel or something. I don't know why it bothers me so much being here, but... um it's, it's totally minor. This coat is absolutely stunning. I feel like that last, what haul was that? I did a haul where I went shopping and I showed the Burberry, the, the, the blue quilted one. And I said that that was like my end all be all because I didn't think I was going to find this. This coat is officially my favorite Burberry coat. It's a showstopper. I wore it to like a happy hour, like party last week. And when I walked in the door, before I even got to the room that the party was in, people were like, oh my God, killer coat. Oh my God, I love your coat. This jacket, this coat. And let me just tell you, it's heavy. My arm is killing me right now from holding it. This is a really, really heavy coat. It's super, super warm. I will tell you what size I got. I got a size 46. I believe she initially came out with a 48. And again, I will insert clips of me wearing it. She initially came out with a size 48, but it was a little roomy for me. This fits super snug with a nice light knit sweater underneath it. It is perfect. I just see myself like hopping out of my G-Wagon, dropping my kids off to school, wearing all black with my Prada monolith boots and a Gucci beret hat and some sickening, my Louis Vuitton gray 1.1 marbleized millionaire sunglasses like come on it's a whole black vibe and like black history month hello i whew, i am so in love with this coat you know what i'm gonna film a video on someone said to me many many years ago like oh i think when i revealed one of my trunks they're like you need a double wide casket because you need to be buried with those i think i'm actually going to do a really funny video of the items that are going to fit in my double wide casket when i die and it may need to be a triple wide at this point at any rate i just want to share this video with you guys i want to share this coat with you guys it is such a showstopper i, I don't even know I, I can't even tell you how lucky i am to have an iconic piece from a heritage brand that fuses together two of their most iconic coats, the puffer coat and the trench. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any further questions about this coat that I did not answer, let me know what you think of the coat in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.